Shalom, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us dive into the Word. Today's Gospel reflection gives us a very strong reminder and a mandate. It's like Jesus saying to you and me, It's our turn. It's our turn. You may be wondering, it's our turn for what? It's our turn to share the love of Christ to everyone. We see how the disciples are told by Jesus to share the good news to everyone, to every creature. And God worked through signs and wonders through them. And He confirmed His word and He worked through them. Today, that mission has been passed down to you and me. It's our turn to share the love of Christ to the broken world. On Good Friday, at the cross, Jesus exclaimed, It is finished. The price for sin has been paid in full. An abundance of graces flow from the cross for our healing, for our deliverance, for our freedom, for our salvation. Jesus, the true hope, our peace, our protection, our provision, our help at times of trouble. He's there with us until the end of time. Friends, I believe that you and I may have experiences of Jesus, some great intense experience, some small, small experiences that we see how God is very much involved in our lives. And those experiences are gems, are keys, are strong points that can help us share Jesus with the people around us, the community that we have. So when I was given the task a year ago to set up a Catholic booth for an interfaith exhibition, there are many people who came and go. And this particular man caught my attention where he actually told me this. To, to me, he told me, if I can do this life again, I would want to be born as a Catholic. And I got curious and I asked why? He looks very content, calm, retired. He, he, he looks like a person that his life is settled. So I asked him why. He said he had some experiences with our faith that he saw how peaceful and wonderful it is. But due to certain reasons, he can't fully commit. And after telling me that, he walked away. I felt the Holy Spirit stirring in my heart, asking me, to go and share about my experience on how God has transformed my life and that it's never too late. It is never too late with God. He can touch your life and turn it around in a wonderful, beautiful manner. And so I went out to find where this, this man went and I found him in the dining area so I sat with him. And he started to share with me. I asked him why you loved it so much. And he shared with me that he actually went with his friend in his younger days to a life in the spirit seminar. And I believe he might have some sort of encounter that made him to fall in love with the faith. But due to some personal reasons, he can't fully commit. But I told him that it's never too late with Jesus and I gave him an example of how God touched my life when I was 18 years old. And we talked, we had our chit chat. At the end of it, I asked him, can I pray for you? And to my surprise, he said yes. So I prayed for him and I believe God was moving there. Though we didn't see anything there, I mean, I, I didn't see major change or he decided yes, no, but I saw there was some sense of peace in him and that there was a longing even more for him to learn about this faith. So I left him there and I gave him some prayer cards, some contacts that he can reach out to when he has some questions. 
But that's about it and we went back home. When I got home, I, it got me thinking that how privileged and blessed am I to be born in this faith, to be able to know Christ. And there are people out there who are struggling, who are facing persecution and difficulties. And sometimes I feel I take my faith for granted. And I apologize to God and I said thank you. And I also share with my catechism students that how blessed and privileged we are. So friends, we have this faith that has been passed down to us. And we cannot keep this beautiful, intense love of Jesus just to ourselves. The world needs to hear it because the world is hurting. I'm going to share with you simple three tips on how we can share the love of Jesus on what I used to practice myself. Number one is to walk the talk. We cannot share about Jesus and where our actions completely is not in line with what we talk. It's opposite. It cannot be. People will have doubts. How come he talks about peace but he's so full of anger? You know? So we have to walk the talk. We have to live out the word. You and I may be the only Bible that some people will be able to read out there. We have this calling to live out the word. The words of Jesus to be evidently seen on the way we live our lives. Tip number two, to pray and ask the Holy Spirit's guidance. Before I go and talk to the man, I ask the Holy Spirit's guidance. Oh Lord, how can I share your love that he will be able to relate it? And God is always there with us to help us because the Holy Spirit has been given to us at our baptisms. He is there to assist us through the mission that God has placed in our lives, in our hands. The last tip is to know the Word of God, is to know the Scriptures. How are we to share Jesus if we do not know the Scriptures ourselves? Our experiences are important, but it must so also connect with the Word of God. That's why we have in our church the daily readings. This channel itself provides a help where it provides reflections that we can connect with and understand the Gospels. All this will help us to build our faith that we will be able to share it effectively. Friends, if we see the last verse of the Gospel of Mark for today's reading, we will see this word that the Lord worked with them. The Lord will work with you and me as we open our mouth and share about His love. This world needs to know the love of Jesus. And you don't have to go somewhere far to find it, to find who to share. Just take a step back and look around you. I'm pretty sure there will be at least one or two people that are hurting, that may have lost hope, that you can bring the light of Christ that is in you to shine in the darkness that they are going through. That you can see and you can give them the hope that you have. There will be people around us, friends. Because people are hurting today. Jesus is the one that can heal us and make us whole. Friends, it's our turn to continue the mission of Jesus. Amen.